Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. Season 2 is live in Madden 25. Now, this morning, we talked about the best free Season 2 player to actually upgrade first, so now I kind of want to talk about what exactly you guys need to be doing first when you log on for Season 2. I realized a lot of my viewers are not going to be on right when content drops, and you have a limited time to actually log in, grind through Madden, get the most important things done, so use this video as your Season 2 checklist. Essentially, when you log in, you're going to get these two free packs, First up, a VIP reward pack. Now, EA has this VIP program. Obviously, I'm invited, but I haven't gotten anything yet. And looks like all you're getting is a 1 of 100 available entry chance for a legend champion item. Yeah, you, you don't win these. I've never won anything from the Madden VIP beta. I have seen people actually win over on Twitter, so I know it's a real thing but like you don't usually win. Also, a quick note, on the top right, I left over 200 Season 1 tickets. They just rolled over to Season 2. So, if you guys have any Season 1 tickets, they will be rolled over for Season 2. That's actually huge. Now we move on to the Season 2 Welcome Pack, the other pack you're going to get when you guys log on. That animation's actually so tough. The game time promo, you get an 82 overall upgrade token, as well as just some more, you know, welcome item-esque things, as well as your first pick when it comes to the 81 overall BND Season 2 Fantasy Pack. If you guys watched my noon video, I'm calling it the morning video because EA loves to delay things. I told you guys what player I am picking first, and that is going to be Tyron Smith. Time to actually focus on that offensive line. In order to actually upgrade these players, you guys are going to need to get those upgrade tokens. Very similar to Season 1. We also do now have two ability slots. Now, the abilities aren't anything crazy, but we are, you know, progressing through the Madden cycle and actually getting double ability slots on each player. Now, these cards do not get all 32 team camps, which kind of blows... I don't know if that's going to be the case, like, all year round. If, like, once you hit level 89 on these cards, will they get all, unlock all 32 team chems? But as of right now, not all 32 team chems. That sucks. Season 1 players got all 32 team chems, so unfortunately, Season 2 players already not as good. Right, first things first, Season 2 is 42 days long. That is significantly longer than Season 1, so we actually have more time to come in here and grind through. Also, it says Season 2 ends on October 16th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. That seems like a pretty far time away. It really is, but just keep that in the back of your mind. Now, you guys are going to come here and log on and see your daily objectives as well as some Week 1 objectives. These should be the same for all of us. One thing I will note, notice what game modes you can complete these in. For example, Record Offensive Yards only tracks in head-to-head, -head, Solo Seasons, or Solo Battles. Same with Team Tackles, but Extra Points and Force Fumbles track in any mode. Also have the Season 2 XP exchange set. Once you guys log on, I recommend this be the first thing you guys do. If you actually did complete this, come over here and redeem it. You guys had to do this in season one. If you don't have it, well, oh well. And it gives you a level and a half. Was it worth the grind? Yeah, for 60 season tickets, a 70 plus overall pack, and a season two XP token exchange for 100 coins. I'm here for it. But season two, off to a decent start. Let's see what we can get out of the 70 plus pack. 74 overall, 72, 73. Yeah, Luca Van Ness, though, actually a very good budget option. And just quality of life changed, I noticed, out of the, you know, Season 2 feel it pass is actually getting the fantasy packs as a pack and not having to go into sets and exchanging a set token. You should be able to claim every single player as an 81, but actually only max out three of them, I believe the math adds up to. If I could be wrong, let me know down in the comment section. Moshi math, it just isn't always there. And I kind of bring that point up because you guys should know which of the 81s up to 89s you are going to fully max out. Now, I already posted a video. I've mentioned this video three times because I think it is very beneficial, but you should know which one of these players you want to max out because that will help you later down the line when building out your team. For example, for me, I knew I was taking Tyron Smith, so I don't have to purchase a left tackle or a right tackle because he does get both players or both positions on his card. For me, knowing what player I was going to pick helped me save my coin, sell off my left tackle as soon as I saw Tyron Smith was dropping. Things like this, knowing what players you're going to take can only really save you and make you coins. As we click through the rest of this field of pass, you guys can see here we get some epic option packs, some more season two player upgrade tokens. It is a significantly longer season and a longer field of pass, also epic option packs. They don't say what's in them. Also notice you get more season tickets the higher up you get into the field of pass. Very standard stuff, same thing as season one. Clicking through here, legendary option pack at level 47. And at level 49, you get a season three XP token. I believe there are two season three XP tokens in here. I believe I saw that on Twitter. 
later. And I have no idea where it is, but I did see that. So keep clicking along a wrong through here. And at level 50, you do get a season two player 88 overall upgrade token. Yeah, I guess the season two field pass is all right. I mean, it is pretty good. One thing I saw Muttleek's tweet out, which I don't know how I feel about it. We could potentially be getting a paid season field pass, like a premium pass. And depending on the cost, it could actually be a good feature. I know a lot of people would be pissed, but giving us significantly better rewards at a significant discount season or like the field pass like point in general, you got to spend money, but it is like the best thing to purchase. Think back to Fortnite. Think back to literally any game that has a field pass. Purchasing the field pass doesn't give you the craziest advantage, but it does give you things at a significant discount. And it, you know, it is usually pretty good when there's it comes a premium to it. Now let's take a look at the season store. Yeah, so I figured this would be back here. Also, you know, season tickets. These did get a little bit cheaper, I believe. Maybe a little bit more expensive. What do I know? I don't know ball. Also notice there is no 89 overall purchasing option right here oh freaking kea but i will say we do have an 81 plus overall boomer bus pack please do not open these packs they are so unbelievably dog shit one thing i did notice is the forge solo challenges are scheduled to expire today so if you guys want to get these done i would recommend coming in here and completing these today i really just don't care enough to come in here but if you want to get them done i would get them done also aka solo challenges I would get those done. Now, I don't think we got any new epic challenges. It doesn't say here when these are going to expire. I would assume we should get some epic challenges soon, but if you want to get those done and you, you know, want those rewards, I would do that first. Yeah, so if you want to sum up what I recommend you guys do first when it comes to Season 2, 1, log on to the game. Get in, claim that welcome item, and pick your first free 81. Figure out what 81 Season 2 player you want to pick, and then pick the order of which you guys want to pick the rest of them. While you're picking that order, remember, you only get to max out about three of them, so keep that in the back of your mind when you guys are actually building out your team. Now, head-to-head -head ranked and champions. We should be getting a few new champion rewards pretty soon. I would assume with every season, we will be getting new players that does have 22 hours left on the timer you guys are probably seeing this video a few hours later but just keep that in the back of your mind if you want one of those 84 overall champs players today is probably your last time to do it now do i recommend sitting here and grinding out because just because you want those 84 overalls no but champs is a fantastic coin making method and yeah fellas that is everything we got with what to do first when it comes to the season two feel it pass i am excited for season two we do have some good promos coming this doesn't include most feared but most feared ish time in madden is one of the best times and season two ends right around halloween and you know season three will lead us in to the holiday season of mutt season two though is the nfl kickoff season we have a lot of really good nfl kickoff promos going i also believe they buff the amount of xp you get per objective very cool come in here though fellas grind through season two and i will catch you boys later tonight with an update video fellas we have a lot to talk about there are a lot of fire animations fire promos but that'll be later tonight and until later fellas peace have a great one